right, let me see your hands. A hail of gunfire in a liquor store parking lot. L.A. County Sheriff's deputies opening fire on a man with a shotgun who's refusing to comply with their commands. Here's another angle. It all began a few minutes earlier when that man carrying the shotgun walked into a neighborhood liquor store at the corner of Rosecrans and Studebaker in Norwalk. That man, later identified as 38-year-old Gerald Hardcastle of Lake Elsinore, told employees behind the counter to hand over cash and merchandise. A number of other customers, including children, were inside as it all went down. An eyewitness to the robbery calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I'm calling a report of robbery at a liquor store. Okay, and then what did you see happen? Uh, he had uh, two duffel bags. He was carrying a shotgun. He told them, give me all your money. Uh, he spelled 30 red hat on as well. Okay, and then what color shirt, color pants? Uh, looks like, a, like an olive green jacket and blue jeans. Moments later, a store employee also calling 911, and deputies are dispatched to the scene. An eyewitness capturing the confrontation in the parking lot as deputies moved in. This still image shows the shotgun in Hardcastle's hand. For a time, he holds it above his head but refuses to drop it. When Hardcastle suddenly moves, deputies open fire. Despite all the shots fired, Hardcastle still holds on to the shotgun. Deputies continue firing at him. He's got a shotgun. Get down. Deputies then come around the car and begin to wrestle with Hardcastle. A taser finally brings him into compliance and he's handcuffed. Despite all that gunfire, Hardcastle suffered only one gunshot wound to his left hand. Deputies recovered the loaded shotgun seen in the video and found Hardcastle was also in possession of two assault rifles seen in this evidence photo. Hardcastle's hand wound was treated at a local hospital. He was later charged with robbery and assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer and three counts of being a felon in possession of a firearm. The use of force video captured in this incident now the subject of an internal affairs investigation and a review will also be conducted by the L.A. County District Attorney's Office. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.